Hello everybody, I'm Lizix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a PlayStation Rift Master on PC with full whammy and tilt support. First thing you're going to want to do, pretty obvious thing, take your Rift Master dongle, plug it into your PC. Pretty simple. Next thing you're going to want to do is check this switch on the back of your Rift Master. My camera is does not want to focus on this thing, but make sure the switch is pointing towards the PS4 side and not the PS5 side. Once you've got it set to the PS4 side, you can just turn it on, let it sync with the dongle. White means it's synced, good to go. That's all from the Riftmaster side. On the PC side, you're gonna to need to download a couple of things. You're gonna need this program called the Clipper, and you're gonna to need to install this program, Vigim Bus. Uh, I already have this installed, so I'm not gonna be installing it. And for some things, you're going to need another program called Hidhide. I also already have that installed, but you're gonna need it for things like um, Clone Hero, Guitar Hero 3, World Tour, stuff like that. Um, but for RPCS3, which is the first thing I'm gonna be showing you, you don't need it. So once you've got all that installed and you have your Riftmaster plugged in and turned on, just go ahead and open up Clipper. Click run anyway. My whammy and tilt has now been fixed. Now, for setting up RPCS3, you're going to want to go to this site, which I'll have linked in the description. Everything will be linked in the description that I use. And you're going to want to click on this download profile. I forgot to mention, Clipper will also work with um, a Fender Stratocaster and a Fender Jaguar, the PS4 versions. It won't work as well as it does with the Riftmaster because they're Bluetooth. It's very much dependent on how well your Bluetooth setup is. But um, once you've got this profile, open up your RPCS3 folder wherever you have it. I have it right here. Open the config folder. Open up the Rock Band profile here, and just drag, whoops, wrong button, just drag and drop input configs into the RPCS3 config folder. And that's all you have to do. Go ahead and open up RPCS3. Click on this Pads button, and this configuration file is right here. Go up to PS4 RB Guitar, hit Save, and you should be good. Uh, just a real quick note, if you have multiple Xbox controllers, this is now showing up as an Xbox controller, you may need to change this X input pad. So go ahead and scroll down and check this right stick here. If you whammy and the red dot moves, you're good to go. Let's go ahead and open up Rock Band 2 here just to give you a quick example that the guitar is working and whammy and tilt are working. I'm going to move my camera down. I'm going to break the green screen a bit, but just so you can see that I am whammying. And tilt. So that's good to go. That's how you use it on RPCS3. So... Using this in Clone Hero is also pretty simple, but you are going to need Hit Hide, and uh, you're going to need uh, the Hit Hide configuration client. What you're going to want to do here before you open up Clone Hero, click on this Devices tab and check the Performance Design Products PDP Riftmaster Guitar for PS4, or the PDP Fender Jaguar, or the F Fender Stratocaster, PS4, Heidi, all of those, and on the application side, Inverse Application Cloak, check that. Click this plus button and go to uh, where you have Clone here installed. As you can see, I've already done it. So I'll just go ahead and close that, hide that. And I'll just open up Clone Hero. This should just work out of the box, no configuration needed. Just, once you got Clone Hero up and running, just press start. Should be good to go. Should be able to select your thing. And 
I'll go ahead and use my own chart. Just for testing. Whammy works. Tilt works. And there you go. That's how you use it in Clone Hero. Now, how about another emulator, Shad PS4? This is where it gets a little bit complicated. You're not going to be able to use Clipper, and this will only work with the Riftmaster, but this can be easily adjusted for a Stratocaster and um, Jaguar. What you're going to want to do is go into Milo Hacks, go into the Forge Dev channel, check the pinned messages, and look for this updated build with a Dipper.exe. Go ahead and download the Dipper. And once that's done, once that's done, go ahead and open it up. Run anyway. You hear the boodoomp again, which means this is working. Change the tilt sensitivity. Uh, it's actually about there in Clipper. Uh, just go ahead and click Start Service. And now, whammy and tilt again. It's going to be showing up as an Xbox controller. But before you start Shad PS4, it's going to be detecting the broken Riftmaster. This is where HitHide comes in. So if you don't have Hits HitHide installed already, get HitHide. What you're going to want to do in HitHide is go into the Devices tab and check the PDP Riftmaster Guitar for PS4. And on the application sides, I, I just do this um, for multiple reasons, but go ahead and check this Inverse Application Cloak. Hit this plus button. And go to where your Shad PS4 EXE is, click open, it will add it to the list. It was already added to the list for me, so now you can just close out of that. And now you can open Shad PS4, open up Rock Band 4, and again, this will work with everything, whammy, tilt. And again, I'll just go into a quick song for testing. And tilt. So that's it. There you go. Just a quick and simple tutorial to get everybody with the PlayStation Rift Master. Whoops. To get everybody with the PlayStation Rift Master up and going finally. It's probably great to hear that your whammy and tilt are finally working on PC. So hopefully you all enjoy and found this useful. Peace.